Hola, ¿cómo están? Soy el psicólogo Carlos Chávez. Estamos acá en Viena, Austria, haciendo una entrevista para el Instituto Peruano de Psicoterapia Humanista al doctor Harald Mori. Hola, buenos días. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? El doctor Harald Mori estudió logoterapia hace 33 años y fue asistente del doctor Víctor Frankl desde 1987 hasta su muerte en 1997. Bienvenido. Uh, Carlos, querido Carlos, um, bienvenido los colegas, welcome, I'm speaking in English, so I hope you fine with that, thank you for coming to see me. So, thank you very much, Harald, for this interview, and well, first I want to ask you, why do you think it's important to keep Viktor Frankl's theory in mind in this global context? For instance, Ukraine war, economic crisis? Um, let me tell you, I had the chance to work with Viktor Frankl for about 10 years until he died. And Viktor Frankl, as you know, he was a psychiatrist, a neurologist, and he invented the logotherapy and existential analysis, third school of psychotherapy. And his school of psychotherapy is very important because it's not only therapy for people with disorders and people who are looking for meaning in life, it is also support and therapy for suffering people and it also has the very important aspect of anthropology, the anthropology about the person, about the individuality of of the human being and about the importance of every single person in the world. Probably you know Viktor Frankl spoke very much about freedom, libertad and responsibility, responsibilidad, and about the connection, how to use the freedom we have in fulfilling possibilities, means to realize, to make something out of a possibility which we call a reality. So creating reality from possibility. And as we all know, human beings are very different and have different talents and also have some disorders or have some barriers in life and inhibitions, threats and challenges. Some challenges is natural are natural. This is the normal development from the baby to the young person to the maturing person to the adult until becoming older, aging and dying. Then we have to face uh, disorders, diseases in life. Okay. And your question was about the meaning or the importance of logotherapy, logotherapy and existential analysis, but we call logotherapy for the current time. We have a difficult time all times were difficult. Now we have a time of threats of many people who want to fulfill their meaning, who want to have a good life and we have as always in the world political interests of states, of leaders, of people who are very powerful in big states for example and in smaller states and how they influence us to obey and to work for them. So it is not always easy to live full of responsibility when you are connected with your state and with your political systems. In, in good countries or in a good way we like democracy, like democracia, the democratic uh, states, but we also have other states as we see now in the current time in uh, Europe. We have war in Ukraine, war from Ukraine and Russian, Russian troops, everybody knows. We have crisis all over the world of people who want other governments, who want other political systems. Also, I'm, I know about developments in Peru at the moment, political, of the president and of the, the quarrels and of, of what people like to have changed. This, this is quite normal. Uh, logotherapy, has a lot to do with meaning and a lot to do with responsibility and so of course it is easy to say yes we must act 
responsible. And responsible means to give an answer, responder, uh, give a response to the questions of life. And this is one very special, unique aspect of this psychotherapy of Viktor Frankl, to tell the people you are able to do something. Everybody, everybody who is listening now to this interview. And on the other hand, you know, you have restrictions. You cannot do everything you want to do, everything good also. So the responsibility means to fulfill meaning and to realize possibilities in a productive, positive way, which means, dear Carlos, which is possible, which is uh, possibly good for me, good for my neighbor, for my family, and good for the society. So in the ideal case, we work together, we collaborate. In the not so ideal case, we are contraproductive, and then you have crisis, then you have um, people working against the society and then sometimes you have war. So maybe to finalize, to care about logotherapeutic attitude, to act like a logotherapist means to take over responsibility for your actions and to combine your responsibility also with the interest of the other people in the world, means in the close world, in the family, in the state, in the group, means also globally. Globally it's very difficult. I am sorry, I'm, I like to come to Peru. I was in Peru three times, but of course I cannot change Peru. But if, like Carlos and your institute, if you, if you educate people in the thoughts of Frankl, you can enable them to think about the meaning of life, you can enable them to think about responsibility and about creativity. Viktor Frankl was very fond of the creativity of people and to say, Everybody can have a good idea. Everybody can make a contribution to the big picture. So let's say logotherapy is psychotherapy. It is also philosophy and it means also to have an attitude. Logotherapy is not a religion, but it is open for religious, for spiritual questions. And so I think this is one of the deep, deep uh, meanings of logotherapy to help people to become self-confident and to become interested in the world. Also this may be one hint, one answer, concrete answer to your question. The interest in life, the interest for the other people and maybe sometimes if it's possible to feel fascination to be curious about life. Viktor Frankl, he was a very intelligent scientist and doctor, medical doctor, and in the same way, he was very open-minded and interested in the beauty of life, in the possibilities of life, in art, in music, and encounter of interesting people who, as I told before, don't like to be negative, who don't be reductive genistic, but who want to create something that makes the world better. And so I think if also politicians would think more about this aspect of life, uh, it would improve the world and it would pull back the dangers of war. But unfortunately, sometimes crises have also have a meaning that people become conscious, conscious about how important our world is, how important peace in the world can be. Thank you. Well, the second answer that we prepare for you is how do you think logotherapy helps to understand the current situation in Latin America and specifically in Peru? Yes, I mentioned it before. I, I'm, of course, I'm not a citizen of Peru. I, I love Peru. I like Lima and Cusco and also Puno. I visited and Lake Titicaca, or how you pronounce it, very important. I think Peruvian people have a very 
long ancient tradition a very developed people for long history and and they also know how to work and live in a country between amazonas and bolivia and the high high plains so this is from the sea to the 4000 meters altitude with a lot of different agriculture and a lot of science meanwhile many universities so uh, you, you see political interest I of course I recognized about former presidents some politicians and so the first thing for a good society is that people have enough to live to eat to sleep to, to that they have trabajo work that they can earn some money and above all the, those people are not living only for work but they are living for having meaning and fulfillment and excitement in life as good as possible and I know there are sometimes very poor people also in Peru or somehow also in Europe and and when the people are poor they do not have much time to care about philosophy they must care about the body about health about them getting the money about food and the living space and so I think one logotherapeutic support for the whole Peruvian people could be the political leaders like everywhere in the world take over responsibility to help all the people and to care for indigenous people for for Peruvian people for for poor people also for wealthy people but to help them to detect themselves to know themselves to have personal confidence in life and that they allow them to live in freedom which is very important and it also means for example to help the farmers to work on their fields to help the people in industry also to have leisure time and to uh, recover and to relax and not only to work and work and work and you know politicians are the same all over the world more or less and the job of a politician is nice and interesting in one side and hard and challenging on the other side because what is the comfortable thing you have power you can do something about the, the situation the, the negative thing is you have a lot of responsibility many people are not pleased with what you do so I think also to answer your question directly also in a sort of existential way if the the medias for example television newspaper yes if they sometimes would mention the importance of having a meaningful life not only a productive life but meaningful life uh, talking about what what are we doing for the next generation for example what are the traces what is the, the traces that we we leave they can motivate their people that they can show them uh, that every individual is needed and important and also uh, the politicians should give possibilities for the people to individualize and to have joy in life you know and to have peace and also a time for their own approach to the world so more than working more than studying more than making exams also to in the best way as Viktor Frankl said to be existing and existing means to be vivid dynamic flexible and to have a lot of possibilities and then as as also you know the philosophers Karl Jaspers and Martin Heidegger, Viktor Frankl like them very much to be a decisive person to make decisions if politicians allow people to choose what they want to do what they want to work where they want to live when they support them then they will have a lot of growth in the power and also in the working motivation of the people and the studying motivations and so you get people you get a, a, many people uh, in a state who are interested in taking over responsibility not only for themselves 
but also for the whole state, for whole Lima, for whole Cusco, for whole Peru. And so this is this, let's say, this is the, the, the dynamic challenge to be uh, active in a certain area and to do work in smaller space and to connect it with the universal thought of the whole state, for example. Or uh, if we care about climate, about um, ecological questions, it is now uh, we have responsibility for the whole world. Thank you very much for that answer. And um, well, this is the last question. So. What do you think it will be important for Peruvian psychologists to study logotherapy? What would you recommend? And why do you think that it's important mm -hmm. to make an existential position for the psychotherapy, mm -hmm. for the for psychologists? Why is it important? I think Viktor Frankl opened our, let's say, professional eye for more than only for a, a, a human being that is functioning biologically or psychologically. Of course, many people now also from other areas know, yes, we are more than our biology. We are more than our social uh, environment expresses. So studying logotherapy and existential analysis so studying the work of Viktor Frankl means a lot it means to have an exchange with your own thoughts about meaning in life it means also to find out good ways productive ways to overcome suffering for example suffering is is present all over the world so how to overcome suffering how to deal with the transitoriness of life and now you know time is running away the years are passing by people get older people die and now then they ask what's the meaning of my life what's the meaning of my existence and uh, of course Logotherapy deals a lot with some psychological diseases, with disorders like anxiety, depression, and existential questions, and also obsessive compulsive disorders, for example. I mean, this is the part of, of the psychology, of the uh, psychopathology, yes? And so you can also use the descriptions of Viktor Frankl of his uh, experiences in concentration camp. So logotherapy is always supportive for the human being. Logotherapy sees the potential in a human being, not only the, the orders and what he or she must do. It is more the question, what is your talent? What is your inner interest? What is your specification? What makes you interested in life? And this means to confront human beings, to confront men and women with the field of identity. This is a very important question. What is your identity? Also, what is your identity as a Peruvian people? What is your identity as a Peruvian psychologist or psychotherapist or doctor? And then the next question is, where can I leave it? So I can have talents, I can find meaning, but where can I express it? And this is the part of authenticity, authenticidad, no? authenticity. And if you put together, I know my individuality, I know who I am, my identity, sorry, my identity, and I can express it. I can be a psychotherapist, I can be a doctor, I can be a worker, I can be a farmer, I can be a teacher, whatever. I can be just a pupil or a mother or father or grandfather. And then you can live in authenticity, authenticidad. Yes? And this is so important that logotherapy um, emphasizes a lot on one hand on the interests of the individual and on the other hand of the contribution on the contribution of the individual for society for the group Viktor Frankl was very fond of Martin Buber the religious philosopher Martin Buber and Martin Buber always said that the, the person needs an opposite a thou yo 
it do nah? and something else so just to, to, to make it a little bit precise um, it is good for people from any country to study logotherapy because Victor Frankl was caring for let's say that what we call the basic human dimension and as you know it is also called noogenic noogenico noogenic dimension means uh, the spiritual dimension uh, which means that every individual has a meaning in life and has a, has a denotation has something to contribute in this life and of course please don't forget that logotherapy existential analysis cares a lot about psychological questions in life people who are in crisis people who are desperate people who are suffering and so logotherapy does not give hope but it helps people to find hope. It helps people to find meaning. How? In having an exchange, a discussion with a logotherapist, for example, who asks good questions, who listens to the problems, and please, if necessary, who makes suggestions how to fulfill life, what to do in life. So, and that means not to regulate the people, but it means to help people to uh, develop new ideas. So if you listen carefully to patients or to people, to clients, you can give them a response and say, oh, I, I see you like music. I see you are good in botanics. I see you like to, to travel. Maybe you could use it for this and that. I see you like to have a cat for therapy, for example, like Carlos. Okay, where can I get a cat? How can I use it? How can I work with an animal? And so on. So logotherapy and Frankl's work always has a lot to do in activating the creativity of the person, of those persons who are now listening to this interview, for example, everybody of you has talents, everybody of you has possibilities, and of course we cannot do everything in life. I cannot fly to the moon, I myself will not possible for me, but okay, I, I like to live on earth or to go swimming, for example. No? So to finalize maybe the answer for your question, uh, we have a lot of knowledge now because we have internet, we have Google, we have books, we have data, gigabytes of data. But the importance is how to use all this load of information and which to separate and where to find the clear way. And just to remember you, Caring about values, you know, Viktor Frankl said we can find meaning by fulfilling values, making an experience, doing something, or if we cannot experience something, if we cannot do something, then we even can care about our attitude, we can change our attitude, so we can find solutions for most of our problems in life. Not for all problems, but for most of the problems we can find solutions. And what is the most important solution? If there is a suffering, if there is a very bad time, if there is things like this pandemic of Corona and so on, just go on, try to get through it and try to find that what improves the situation. So for Corona, for example, we got vaccination, we got treatments and so on. Now we, we can deal with it and we will be able to deal with the next threats and with, with the next conflicts. The basic always should be the human interest in helping to make the world better. Thank you very much for your, your answers, Dr. Uh, Harald. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes, we hope you Muito have... obrigado. <laughs> Muito obrigado. We... That is Portuguese. <laughs> That's... Gracias. Muchas gracias. Sorry. We hope have you soon in Latin America and specifically in Peru. So, thank you very much for this interview. Danke. <laughs> Sehr gerne. Ich danke. I thank you. Muchísimas gracias. I, at least online. I'm connected in Peru again and again and I hope I hope to come again to your country of course. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Gracias.